Hey guys, what's going on, Matt here, and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 Mod Tools tutorial series. So in this video, we're going to be applying a custom texture um, just to this section here in the wall. And all this will be is my YouTube logo we'll be put in here. Now, texturing materials, all that sort of thing, um, is quite, you know, it can go quite in depth. So for this video, I'm simply just going to be pretty much putting a poster on the wall, effectively. Um, so everything that we'll be doing will just be for that. Um, there are quite a lot of settings that you can sort of customize and do, you know, a lot more with. Um, if you are interested in going a bit more advanced on this sort of stuff, um, then, you know, of course, leave a comment. Um, and I, I'll kind of do what I know. But um, as I say, there, there is a huge amount and you, you couldn't possibly cover it all in one video. Um, so I'll kind of expand on this, um, you know, where I can and, you know, and where is kind of, I guess, asked for as well. So, first thing that we need to do is, of course, have an image. So, I've just got my YouTube logo here, nice and easy. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to do uh, before we can actually put this into the map. One is make sure that the file type uh, is suitable and also make sure that the actual dimensions of the image are okay. So, you can see here we've got a, a PNG file. Um, that is perfectly fine. I don't need to um, reformat this or anything like that. Um, you could be wanting to use either a .png or a .tiff. Um, I believe you can also use a .exr, but I think those are mostly used for skyboxes. I don't know if you uh, if you'll be using them for like, you know regular textures, um, but a .png or a .tiff is usually what I work with. So the file type itself is fine, or the format. What isn't okay in this one though is this is 500 by 500. You can see dimensions 500 by 500, uh, and that's of course you know that's the pixel uh, width and height. Now. You're going to need this to be uh, a power of two. So some pretty typical values. You've got uh, 512 by 512. You've got uh, 1024 by 1024. And you've got 2048 by 2048. Um, you can also you know, use less than that. Um, in this video, I'm going to be using 256 by 256 just because um, I don't need a big image. Um, it's only, only going to be small. But I would suggest using anything, anything 512 or above. Ideally, anything 1024 or above. And all that is is the width and the height dimensions. So, of course, in this case, it's going to be a square. So, each one will be the same. If you are using maybe like a horizontal one, so something like that, then, of course, you know, change those values as needed. I will leave this, all this sort of stuff in the description as well. So, you can, you know, you can just reference it there. Of course, the more pixels means typically the higher quality. So, kind of, you know, do, do, do what you think is best. In this test, though, I'm just going to be downsizing this nice and easy. Um, okay, so now, now you know, now we've got that out of the way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just resize this image. You can use whatever method you want to resize and or format it if you need to. Um, I'm just using this Windows app that I, that I use. So I'm going to drag this into here. Select my output folder, which uh, now nah, I'll use downloads so I can move it from there. I can show it appearing. Uh, output format is going to be a .png. Um, I prefer just to use these over a TIFF, just because uh, I may, you know, I'm still able to see it in here. That is all. Configure resizing. So as I said earlier, these need to be um, powers of two. Um, so choose a number from the description if you want uh, and put it in here. Uh, I'm using two fifty six. I would highly advise though to use ten twenty four or above. I'm doing this purely just for a test, just because I don't have a texture that is particularly a uh, good quality just to use for this test right now. Um, so we can use that. So yeah, 1024 or all above, uh, I'd recommend. So we're gonna resize this. Convert, oh, I need to, uh, okay, I guess it selects them all. Uh, okay, so if I hover over that, you'll see 256 by 256, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete the old one. Just rename this, just logo. Oh, did I spell it right? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this. Go to my Black Ops 3 root directory. Go to Texture Assets. Go to, I'm just going to put it in here. Just put it anywhere within Texture, texture yeah, I can't speak. Anywhere within Texture Assets uh, and you'll be fine. So once we've got that, uh, only one step really next and that's to actually set this up uh, in ape so that is asset property editor so over in the launcher you can click asset editor 
and it'll open up this window. Now, if you've worked with G GDTs before, then a lot of this will be fairly familiar. If you haven't, it's effectively just a way to sort of hold information on, a, on an asset. That's really, that's all they really are. Uh, in this case, I've already got some GDTs I use um, set up here. And I've, I've filtered by them. Um, if you don't have one uh, and you want to create a new one, then just go up here and click on new GDT. That's fine. I'm going to be putting this in my global GDT though, because you know, this may be used in multiple apps. It won't actually be used this. I'm going to delete it after this video, but you know, I guess, in, you know, in a normal use case, it could be used in multiple maps. So once you've got your GDT created or selected, you will right click and go on new material. Uh, I'm going to call this MTL. So materials are typically prefixed with MTL. Uh, so MTL underscore E115 and then logo like that. Uh, okay. That's going to create the new material. Next, we're going to leave this as geometry. I'm going to change this one to lit. You'll notice we have a huge amount of options in here. And this is depending on what, what you want to do. Um, you might want to have a texture that is emissive. That means it sort of gives off a better light. So, you, you know, maybe it's like a window, you know, you want to look like the room behind that window is actually, you know, I guess, you know, the lights on or something like that. Um, that's typically where, you know, that's like one use case for that. For this, you know, for this video though, we just could be making a pretty basic poster, you know, just to keep it simple. Feel free though to sort of mess around with these settings uh, and see, you know, see what you can sort of, I guess, make. So, geometry lit. Um, surface type is literally when you shoot out, uh, how do you want it to react? So obviously, you know, if maybe you've got some concrete, you want it to kind of look like it's concrete being shot at, so you'd uh, select uh, concrete. In this case, it's going to be a poster. So, I, well, normally it's paper. So I do paper. Gloss range, I typically match with material type a lot of the time. This is also going to be paper. And that's literally, you know, how, well, the actual gloss, I guess, factor of it, you know, maybe you, sh you, know, you shine a light on it. If you want it to look dead shiny, um, I guess um, rubber might be much more shiny than brick. Is it, you know, I guess a, a, good, a good way to, to sort of look at that. Uh, so paper for both of them, uh, usage. So this is where, if you do want this to be in an editor, so in this case, it's going to be a texture, but maybe you're working on a texture for like a model that like you don't necessarily want that to be available in radiant to select. Uh, that's of course where you'd keep it as not an editor. In this case, it's going to be an, an, you know, a texture that we can actually apply to a wall. So I'm going to put this as interior wall. Um, all this is going to be is when you go over to your, um, textures window, uh, you're able to sort of filter by usage and whatnot. Uh, you know, you've got a few filters up here. Um, that's all that's for. So it'll be within the interior wall sort of category, I guess. So that is as close as I think as you know, that would be relevant. Next, what we need to do is actually apply the texture now into this. So there's a few sort of, I guess, individual files that I used uh, in one material. So maybe you had, uh, in this case, you know, cause it's just a nice, simple poster. So all, all we need is the actual image, but maybe you were making a rock texture. Now you absolutely could just put a rock texture on that, not a problem, but you might also want it to, you know, kind of look like, um, it's got a bit of depth to it, you know, just make, you know, make it look like it's got a few, um, a few, a few deeper and sort of more shallow parts to that texture, even though it actually doesn't have. Um, that's where you can sort of use the, you know, use a normal map, for example. Um, you know, there's various things that you could be using. So if you have changed any settings up here, you might have more or less options down here. So feel free to go ahead and play around with those. Um, I personally don't um, do anything like this when I'm doing custom textures because it's just going to be like, you know, a poster or something like that. But if you do know how to make things like normal maps and stuff like that, then this might be quite useful for you to uh, for, for you to sort of use. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick with color maps. Uh, I'm going to click this button here for new image. It's going to prefix, well, it's going to prefix and suffix. Um, so I've got around the name. So materials are prefixed with MTL. Images are typically prefixed with I. So it's I and then obviously the name. And then because this is a color map, it's doing underscore C at the end. If this was a normal map, 
you know, say if we were doing one for like depth and whatnot, um, then we'd have underscore n at the end. And that's as simple as that is really. So I'm gonna click okay for that. It's gonna create the image for us. Um, just in case I didn't mention it, if you do have multiple of these, they basically get overlaid. So it's all within the same material. They all just sort of get combined. Uh, maybe, maybe not overlaid, but you know, sort of combined onto that material. So it's not one or the other. They kind of all sort of, I guess, get added together. So next we need to just add the texture on this. And so I'm just gonna click these three dots, go to here, go to PNG and select our logo. You can see the dimensions are fine. If we go back to our material, you can see it's been applied to this sphere. If you don't see it applied, then the two likely issues is either you've got the wrong format. So, you know, maybe the way you converted it was a bit, you know, didn't work quite well or something like that. Um, or the actual dimensions of it are not a uh, power of two. So, you know, just sort of check those. So once we've got all this sort of set up, I've got, I can go ahead and click save. I'll now go over into Radiant. I'm just gonna give it a second to sort of load in all the latest assets. It only takes a second. Uh, there we go. Um, I get a little uh, progress bar pop up um, to let me know it's done on my other screen. So next what we need to do is go over the textures. I'm just gonna do filter by what we called it. Click go to all. You can see we've now got the logo here. I'm just gonna click on this and I'm going to apply that texture. We we'll go down to Surface Inspector and just click both, so it fits it to this. And now you can see we've got the uh, my YouTube logo uh, on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and just save save this map. Uh, next, I'm going I will be closing this down in a moment, um, and then go to go over into the launcher and just do a full compile on this map. Um, and I'll show you guys in game that this you know is on the wall. So I'll see you guys over in game. Okay, so over in game, you can see we've got the text from the wall. Um, just playing exactly as we expect. Um, of course, any questions you can like, please let me know. Uh, I'll do my best to help you guys out. Other than that, yeah, there's been has had a custom texture. I catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.